Have you ever found comfort in solitude, away from the hum and buzz of society? Ever wondered about the power within that emerges when we stand independent of the collective? Let's journey into the thoughts of Arthur Schopenhauer, a name that resonates deeply within the realms of philosophy. Born in the late 18th century, Schopenhauer stood distinctively apart from many thinkers of his time. When much of the philosophical landscape was painted with optimism about human nature and societal progress, Schopenhauer crafted a view that often swam against the popular currents. Integrating wisdom from both Eastern and Western traditions, he presented a worldview that emphasized the value of the individual and the profound nature of solitude. For Schopenhauer, solitude wasn't merely an occasional escape. It was a profound state of existence. He believed that in solitude, away from the endless chatter and expectations of society, an individual could tap into their deepest, most genuine thoughts. This was not just about physical isolation. It was about a mental and emotional space where deep introspection flourishes, a space often stifled by the constant noise of collective existence. Continuing on this journey of thought, Schopenhauer saw individualism as a path, not away from truth, but directly towards it. In his eyes, genuine understanding of the world wouldn't arise by simply absorbing and conforming to what's popular or accepted. Instead, it's in the unique reflections of the individual in their solitary moments, that the true intricacies of existence are grasped. The collective, with its myriad voices, could often lead us astray, clouding the essence of truth. However, Schopenhauer wasn't one to romanticize without acknowledging reality. He recognized the challenges of embracing solitude. It meant confronting one's fears, insecurities, and the inevitable void that is a part of human existence. There's a certain bravery in choosing to be authentic, especially in a world that often rewards conformity. Reflecting on history, think of all the artists and thinkers who distanced themselves from the norm to birth their masterpieces. Their muse wasn't found within the crowd, but in those precious moments of solitude. Even in our times, haven't there been instances when stepping back from the collective noise brought more clarity? Such moments, simple yet profound, Echo Schopenhauer's sentiments that solitude can be a vessel for deep introspection and realization. We find ourselves in a world that is increasingly interconnected, a world that is loud, bustling, and constantly vying for our attention. In this context, Schopenhauer's insights serve as a gentle reminder of the treasures that can be found when we occasionally tune out the noise and tune into ourselves. Amid this exploration of Schopenhauer's philosophy, it's intriguing to ponder how his ideas fit into our modern age. We live in a world of digital connections, where our sense of community is often defined by the number of followers or friends on social platforms. Every ding and notification keeps us tethered, making genuine solitude seem like a distant dream. Yet, Schopenhauer's wisdom seems more relevant than ever. His views push us to question the nature of our digital relationships and how they shape our self-perception. For every like, share, or comment, are we getting closer to our true selves or drifting further into a constructed persona? If Schopenhauer were amidst us today, he might argue that this digital age, with all its conveniences, also runs the risk of diluting genuine individualism. Taking a step further, one can't help but wonder about the balance between individualism and community. While Schopenhauer deeply valued solitude, he didn't dismiss the importance of human connection. Instead, he proposed that genuine connections arise when individuals, fortified in their solitude and self-awareness, engage with others. It's the depth and quality of these interactions that matter, not the sheer number. Consider the moments in life when a deep conversation with a single individual felt more enriching than a hundred casual chats. It's in these moments, where two individuals, grounded in their own self-awareness, connect and communicate with authenticity. Schopenhauer's philosophy, in essence, is a call to cultivate such depth in our interactions. Solitude and individualism, as per Schopenhauer, are not ends in themselves but tools. Tools that empower us to live with greater authenticity, to foster connections that are meaningful, and to engage with the world in ways that are both profound and enriching. As we navigate the intricate dance of life, it might be worthwhile to occasionally step back, bask in solitude, and reacquaint ourselves with the power of individualism.
For in doing so, we don't isolate ourselves but prepare to engage with the world in ways that are deeply transformative and genuine. Shifting gears slightly, let's delve into another layer of Schopenhauer's philosophy. He often spoke of the inherent suffering in life, a topic he frequently returned to. This suffering, he posited, was deeply tied to our desires and the ceaseless striving they instigated. Yet, it's in the realm of individualism and solitude that we might find an antidote. In embracing solitude, we aren't merely escaping the external world, but also confronting our internal desires and the suffering they bring. By doing so, we position ourselves to understand and perhaps even transcend them. This isn't an escape but an embrace of a higher form of existence, one where we aren't constantly tossed about by every whim or external validation. Furthermore, Schopenhauer's emphasis on individualism prompts us to redefine success and happiness on our own terms. In a society that often prescribes what happiness should look like, be it wealth, fame, or any other metric, the courage to define it for oneself is a radical act of individualism. It's about understanding that our path, carved by our unique experiences and insights, won't necessarily mirror the well-trodden roads of others. Beyond the realms of philosophical musings, Schopenhauer's ideas on individualism and solitude have tangible implications in areas like mental health. In a world where rates of anxiety and depression are on the rise, carving out spaces for solitude, introspection, and authentic self-expression becomes crucial. It's about acknowledging our feelings, understanding them, and in the process, discovering a more authentic version of ourselves. This perspective also resonates in the fields of education and work. Encouraging individual thought over rote memorization or promoting environments that honor each person's unique contributions can lead to a more holistic development and a richer, more productive atmosphere. All these threads tie back to the core of Schopenhauer's philosophy, the immense potential that lies in understanding oneself, the power of solitude, and the courage to walk the path of individualism, even when it diverges from the collective. So, taking a deeper dive into the practical implications of Schopenhauer's principles, let's consider its resonance in the realm of creativity. Creative minds, from painters to poets, often talk about their most profound moments of inspiration coming during periods of solitude. This isn't mere coincidence. The quietude and introspection solitude offers act as a fertile ground for original ideas to sprout, away from the overshadowing influences of societal norms and expectations. Schopenhauer himself was no stranger to this phenomenon. His works, marked by depth and nuance, speak volumes about the kind of introspection he indulged in. Imagine a world without the luxury of solitude. We might be bereft of the myriad masterpieces that have shaped culture, thought, and history. Moving from creativity to decision-making, individualism stands as a beacon. The strength to make decisions grounded in one's convictions, unswayed by popular opinion, is a hallmark of great leaders and visionaries. It's a trait often born from embracing individualism, as it requires a deep understanding of one's values and principles. Now, let's touch upon a contemporary realm, technology and artificial intelligence. In an era where algorithms often predict and even dictate our choices, from the books we read to the places we dine, the spirit of individualism serves as a reminder to occasionally step away from the digital dictates. It beckons us to make choices stemming from our authentic selves, rather than algorithmic nudges. Schopenhauer, in his emphasis on individualism, indirectly compels us to question, are we choosing, or are we being chosen for? Furthermore, in a world of global interconnectedness, the value of individual cultures, narratives, and histories becomes paramount. Schopenhauer's philosophy reminds us of the importance of preserving these individual stories, as they weave the rich tapestry of human history. It's fascinating to observe how a philosopher from the 19th century can spark such relevant dialogues in the 21st. The ebb and flow of time may change the settings, but the core human quest, understanding oneself, seeking meaningful connections, and carving a unique path, remains timeless. Schopenhauer's insights into individualism and solitude don't just serve as reflections of his time but stand as timeless beacons, guiding us through the complex maze of existence. In understanding his perspective, we're prompted to take a pause, to genuinely engage with our inner worlds, 
and to cultivate a deep-rooted authenticity in our interactions with the external. As we step forth in our journeys, carrying the torch of these ideas, we're not just honoring a philosopher's legacy but enriching our own life tapestries. In the words of Schopenhauer himself, A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Up until next time, take care, and see you soon.